Hey guys, this week we're talking about force per stroke and how do we improve it? All right, so what are we talking about? Well, one of the things that we wanna make sure we understand when we're getting on this machine is that speed, and we talk about this a lot, speed does not come from speed of the system when you are on this machine. Speed comes from your ability to apply force to the machine. And that's something that a lot of people miss is that they don't quite find good connection, but really to improve on this machine, it's all about improving connection. So if you find that you struggle to keep a low stroke rate and be effective on this machine, guess what? You're missing out on connection. It is an automatic identifier that you don't have the ability to connect to the machine. So we're going to talk about that. And I'm gonna give you one drill that we're gonna work on this week to help you improve on better connection to the machine. Okay, now what we are going to do is going to be a, a form of a pick drill, but we have a couple stipulations that go along with it. Number one, remember, stroke rate must stay low. All right, taking stroke rate up or taking your rating up is a way of avoiding connection to the machine and trying to compensate by just increasing the cycle time. We want to keep cycle time low so that you have to learn how to engage your body in different areas so that you can suspend and apply force to the machine. So this week's drill is going to be a building reverse pick drill. Couple stipulations. Number one, I want your damper setting all the way up to a 10. Now, is that because I am trying to develop strength? No, not necessarily. What I'm trying to give you is a heavy damper setting so that you have something to push against and you can feel the load that we're looking for, all right? Number two, stroke rating is going to be low at a 16, okay? 16, not anything over 16. If you wanna go 14, that's fine, but 16 is your stroke rate. And what we're gonna do is you're going to row for 10 minutes at a stroke rating 16, trying to increase your pressure per stroke for 10 minutes. Now this is going to get exhausting. And what I'm looking for is that your hamstrings, your quads, and your glutes, perhaps your back as well, are on fire by the time you're done. And if they're not, then you're probably not connecting well. Let's bring it back and find, let's go back to some of our previous videos, perhaps our three-part beginner series, so that you're establishing good connection. So, I'm just gonna show you what we're talking about. Now for 10 minutes, again, I want you building in pressure. And I talked about how this is going to be a reverse pictorial building sequence. So what that looks like is that you're gonna start at the catch and we are going to start by rowing legs only for five strokes. Two, three. Now when I'm rowing legs only, my trunk is closed. So I'm at a forward angle of one o'clock. My arms are long and I'm just, and I'm reaching with the shoulder and I'm using my scaps and slight external rotation into the lats to connect to the handle. So I'm locking all of this in place so that the load solely comes down to my legs, all right? So again, starting legs only, I'm gonna take five strokes. I'm working on a big push against the machine. Stroke rating 16, so nice and low. I'm not in a rush to get through these strokes. So five of those. Then we're gonna add in the hip swing so that you can start to feel the relay from leg drive into aggressive hip opening. Okay, so that would be a legs and body only stroke. Still keeping the stroke rate at 16. I'm at a 15 right now. And you're gonna have a lot of pressure because of that high damper setting. Make sure that you're not starting to break the elbows to grab tension or opening the chest early to get that tension as well. You're gonna take 10 of those and then you're gonna go into 15 full slide where you get to add in the arms now. And we're gonna stay at that 16. <sighs> oh, this is gonna be heavy. So again, the workout. Stroke rating 16, damper up to a 10, and this is going to be a reverse pick drill. So it's gonna go legs only for five, legs and body for 10, and then full slide for 15. 10 minutes of that building in pressure. You are going to be tired at the end, but guess what? This entire workout is focused on building force per stroke, not trying to get speed by increasing speed of the system. 
So again, how do you find for, or how do you improve force per stroke? It's by learning to improve connection. And improving connection comes from spending time getting under load or being under duress as you move through this movement. Cool? All right, that is your workout, guys. I want you to go do that. Don't avoid it, just go hit it. That'll be one of your workouts this week. You'll love it. Report back to us. Tweet us, Instagram us, YouTube us, whatever. But do let us know how that goes because I wanna make sure that you guys are all connecting with the machine. All right, guys, this has been Dark Horse Rowing. As always, make sure you sign up for our newsletter, The Hustler's Guide to Rowing, where you guys will get our latest video and blog article every Tuesday morning in your inbox. Guys, we will see you on the other side and in our next video.